Hey everyone, what is going on? So we are battling a fellow content creator as well as a friend of mine, Juwan Chopolis. So I will leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description down below. Totally recommend checking him out. You know, it is funny because um, he had said that he got inspired from my videos and that's why he created his his channel and his content but he actually passed me in subscribers so that just goes to show you how well he's doing on YouTube so definitely go ahead and check him out and tell him I sent you tell him I said hi and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and take a look we agreed to six battles and we each won three of them so it was actually even but uh, let's take a look at his team he has a skunk tank Suicune Umbreon he has Raiko, Alola Ninetales, and Bibao. So Raiko, pretty interesting, and I plan on making a video for this cup with Raiko in it. And my team is just going to be the same as my finalist team. It will be that Nidoqueen, Alola Ninetales, Umbreon, Minon, Vaporeon, and Bibao. So as I said, Raiko, pretty interesting Pokemon. Uh, I do like it. I do want to try it out. It is super, super squishy. But it has that Thundershock, Wild Charge, and Shadow Ball. So Shadow Ball can hit, like, Needle Queen, even if, like, Raichu can't do anything to it. But, like, um, Shadow Ball can from uh, this Raikou. So definitely a very interesting Pokemon, even though it is super squishy. And it is a Pokemon that I definitely do want to try out. And I can't wait to try it, as well as Skunk Tank. I don't think I use Skunk Tank too much. I might have tried it in a couple early battles, but I definitely want to try out more because I feel like it's a really, really good Pokemon. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try that. But either way, we win the first one. So really good game. Really good game. Uh, increasing friendship as well. So can't wait to battle him again. He's a really strong opponent. Uh, really fun. Love watching his YouTube channel. So I lead with Needle Queen and he leads with Raikou. So this is definitely favorable to me. But as I said, he does charge up fast so he can get that Shadow Ball. So I do have to be careful of that. I do go ahead and go for the Earth Power because I knew this would knock it out. But I knew a shield was coming. Uh, so he brings in b Bell and I pull the switch into my Vaporeon. So now it's water versus water. And I'm going to go ahead and take this move. And it happens to be a Surf, so it's a good thing I didn't block that. So looking pretty good for me. I'm going to go ahead and go straight for the Hyper Fang. Wasn't sure if he would block this one or not, and he decides not to. So uh, doing a lot of damage with that Last Resort, or a decent amount. I think I like B-Barrel more than Vaporeon, just because the Last Resort, it doesn't do the same attack bonus, you know, so same type attack bonus. And um, But yeah. Anyway, we do go ahead and knock out B-Bell. So now he brings in. Now, I'm going to make a mistake in it a little bit, and you'll see it. But right now, I do go ahead and go for the Surf, just to get as much damage against that, um, not Surf, Aqua Tail. I'm so used to B-Bell. He'll just faint me down. And I do go ahead and bring in my B-Barrel. And he is going to go ahead and go for a charge move. I do decide to shield this. I feel like that was a mistake. He goes for the crunch because I knew he had a Raikou in the back with wild charge. So he just switches it in and goes for that immediately. And I decide not to, sh to shield. So I should have done one or two things. I should have used my last shield on that Raikou. Or I should have... Uh, not blocked the attack from Skunk Tank. Probably not blocked the attack from Skunk Tank. He actually goes for a Wild Charge. They're really getting me. Uh, I am charging up a little bit more, and then I go for my Earth Power. And if this is shielded, he is going to be able to get off a Shadow Ball, which he does right now. I wasn't sure if he had Shadow Ball just because he went for the Wild Charge first, but he does. Uh, actually, doesn't knock me out, though. So he's going to go ahead and bring in Skunk Gunk Tank. Unfortunately, I cannot get to the last charge move. So I feel like I gave that game away. If I had another shield, things would have been different. But that's okay. That's okay. We do go ahead and lose that one. So for this game, I have my Minin versus his Raikou. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the switch into B-Barrel. That was a mistake. I did not mean to switch into B-Barrel. Uh, but that's okay. It is what it is. Uh, he's going to go ahead and go for the Wild Charge. You know, I, I was at a raid uh, when he asked to battle, and it was after the raid ended. This was a Darkrai raid. So uh, I was just sitting on the bench battling him. Uh, so maybe that's where the mistake came from because I was talking to other people as well. I don't know. But either way, it was a mistake. It was obviously a bad play, but it was also a mistake. But you also have to keep in mind, if I did switch to Needle Queen right away, he would have switched to B-Barrel immediately and totally destroyed my Needle Queen. So it ended up working out a little bit better. You know, it came relatively close compared to how I thought it was going to come. So um, it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and go for Earthquake against his uh, B-Bell and going to go ahead and pull that switch right away into... Uh, I'm 
Well, he has an Umbreon. I go straight for my charge move, which is going to be that Thunderbolt, not expecting a shield, so that's why I do go for that Thunderbolt. And now he will bring out his charge move, which will be, let's see, it is Dark Pulse, so very interesting to see Dark Pulse. Usually you see Last Resort and Foul Play, but uh, we do see Dark, Dark Pulse as well as Last Resort on this Umbreon, so it's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and go for, I believe, the Discharge this time, as we do. And he's going to go ahead and shield that one. And I pull the switch into Needle Queen, uh, just trying to do something. Really not looking too great for me. He brings in his B-Barrel, and I will just try and faint him down. But unfortunately, he has his charge move ready to go. And he could knock me out with Surf before we even get to faint him down. So he does go ahead and win that one. Um, and that was a good game. You know, maybe it was a mistake in the beginning, but as I said, I don't think it mattered. So that's okay. We're going to jump into another one. I lead with Alolan Ninetales, and he leads with Skunk Tank. So I like to consider this relatively even. I mean, we are weak to Poison Jab. Skunk Tank is neutral to Charm, so Charm's still doing a lot of damage. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shield this one up because I don't want to take that charge move. It's only a crunch, but I still shielded it up, hoping to faint him before he gets off another charge move. Unfortunately, not able to. So I do what I don't like to do and burn both shields at the beginning. So not looking good in that regard. At least we knocked him out first and we have enough for a charge move. But... Yeah, other than that, I really don't like burning both shields in the beginning. That's usually why I don't like leading my Charm user like Alolan Ninetales, because they usually require shields, and I don't like burning shields in the beginning, so... Um, but, we this is just practice, so we're just trying different things, right? So we're gonna go ahead, we have the B-Battle Mirror Match, he does go for his Hyper Fang, but I'm out of shields, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for the Surf, hoping to catch a shield, and I was really expecting to catch one, and I do, so at least I went for Surf instead of Hyper Fang, and we get to another Surf. I didn't think I could make it to the Hyper Fang, I wasn't expecting him to shield this time, but he actually does. I guess maybe he wasn't counting Water Gun that well, I can't count Water Gun well, but we bring a Needle Queen against b Battle, and you guys know how this is going to go. Uh, Needle Queen is not going to be able to do much, unless if it has fully charged energy and it can get off that Earth Power right away. Not going to do much. So he does go ahead and win that. So very good game. Very good game. We're going to go ahead and jump into another one. I lead with my Minin, and he leads with Suicune, so I'll definitely take this matchup. We do have the advantage because we have an electric type. The only thing you have to watch out is Bubble Beam. So I knew that this was a Bubble Beam because he, he only he used it after four uh, Snarls, whereas it takes six to get the Hydro Pump. So I wasn't worried about that. The only thing I was worried about was that Bubble Low was my attack. So I'm going to go straight for the Thunderbolt, and I was not... I wasn't sure if he would block that. He decides not to. I knew this was another Bubble Beam, so I wasn't worried um, about being knocked out. As I said, I was just worried about uh, losing my attack, but that's, that happens if you shield or not. So uh, we do knock out Suicune, and then he brings in his Umbreon, and I'm going to go ahead and go for Thunderbolt, which, because of the two Bubble Beam, isn't really going to do a lot, but Minon already did its job at this point, so at least any damage is good. And uh, we're just lowering its health as fast as possible, getting that Umbreon down, because Umbreon is such a tank. And he does go for the Dark Pulse to knock out my Minin. We do bring in my Alolan Ninetales. He brings in B-Barrel. I am going to switch because I wanted to save that Ninetales for his Umbreon. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Surf right now against his B-Barrel. And it does do a decent amount. Not able to catch a shield though, unfortunately, which is what I was hoping for. I am going to go ahead and block. It is only a Surf, so nice bait on his end. Uh, he is going to go for another move. I knew this was Surf, so I wasn't concerned. Uh, actually, it's not. It's Hyper Fang. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, well, I know this is Surf. Uh, because I was trying to count Water Guns. It's not that easy. I didn't think he had enough for Hyper Fang. He, sh he proved me wrong. He did. Uh, but we knock him out anyway. And he has two shields left. But it doesn't matter when it comes to Alolan Ninetales. Because all she cares about is using Charm to knock out the opposing Pokemon. We're not even going to get to my charge moves, and even if we're hit with the last resort, Dark Pulse doesn't matter. We're going to be able to take it. We are hit with the last resort, and we do knock out that Umbreon. So we beat him, and he has two shields remaining. It doesn't really feel good um, losing with two shields. It happened to me plenty of times, you know, so uh, it happens. It happens. No big deal. 
So the next match it is a B-Barrel Mirror match. So let's see what happens. Uh, my PvP IVs for B-Barrel are not good at all. Unfortunately, they really really are not. I just had one at like this CP. I think I powered it up once and then I just added a second move just because it was cheap. I still am looking for a better one, but um, I just wanted to use it immediately and this was the only one I had. Uh, anyway, we go ahead and get off the Hyper Fang and wasn't sure what would happen. He decides to extend his energy against my B-Bell and he does go ahead and knock me out. So that's okay with me because I bring in my Alolan Ninetales and he brings in his Raikou. So I am going to go ahead and pull the switch and you saw how much damage that was doing. Uh, that charm to that Raikou. Now, I pulled the switch because I knew he didn't have B-Barrel left uh, because he used it. So, I wasn't too concerned with that. So, I do have my Needle Queen and I do go, I believe, for that Earthquake. Yeah, I, I actually wasn't expecting the shield because Umbreon can take those moves. I mean, Earthquake would still do a lot, but it could take it. He does get off his charge move and I decide not to shield because I wanted to save both of my shields for my Alolan Ninetales. And all I have to do is just use fast moves. And I am going to be burning both of my shields on this Umbreon, I believe. So it is a dark post. Could have easily taken it, but didn't want to take a chance. He actually brings in his Raikou. So now I'm using one shield for Raikou. And then I'm using another for Umbreon. And I don't care, care at this point about his last shield. I'm not even going to click on my charge moves. I'm just going straight for the beatdown. And we do go ahead and finish him off and win this game. So very good games. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.